demonstrate the personalized study guide and where it's at at the moment. Uh, it currently has two uh, options for personalizing within sections or personalizing the sections themselves and reorganizing the entire course. Uh, so default for organizing within sections is yes, default for organizing the entire course is no. Uh, and then there's also another option for using the questionnaire, the ILS questionnaire, or common links from a clustering analysis. So by default it'll take the, um, the survey results, the ILS survey results. Uh, and right now I've got both of these checked so we can see how that works out in a course. Uh, so in this new course that we've gotten, I've completed the um, ILS survey, so there's results. And we can see topic 5, which used to be at the bottom, uh, scored a 1, because it has one uh, learning object, which is the questionnaire, which scored a 1, uh, according to my learning style based on the mapping that I have. Whereas the, the other sections, uh, this one scored 0.67 because it had one, one, and a zero, so it wound up being two-thirds. Basically what I do is I take and add up all the scores for each individual module within a section, and then divide it by the number of modules in that section to average them out. And that determines the score for the entire section. And then I sort the sections based on that score. And it's essentially the same process for each learning object uh, within the sections. I score each one and then sort them the same way. And so that's what they look like. And that's, we can use that, like I say, using the, the ILS results. Uh, so if we take and we don't want to personalize the sections, we'll shut that off. And go back. Have a look, see, now this one didn't score the highest anymore, but it's at the top because that's where it used to be. And top of five is back down at the bottom, even though it scored the highest where it's supposed to be. But we're still sorting within section. We still have the highest number within each section. Uh, so we can turn that off as well. And now you can see they're no longer sorted within the sections. So again, we'll take and we'll turn on sorting the entire section without sorting within a section. And then we can see once again, topic five is at the top, but we're not sorted within section, which is as per the settings. And we can also decide to use common links instead. So in this course, there is no behavior analysis done yet. There's no clustering analysis done yet. Uh, so we get a null learning style. Everything scores zero and it winds up sorting as it normally would. Uh, but this course, I do have uh, myself clustered so I can protect my learning style from the common links. As you can see, uh, we get, instead of nice, crisp, odd numbers the way the ILS is scored, uh, we get strange and unusual numbers depending on the common links and how they score. And there again, then we score each of these and divide them up. And so this one scored a four right at the top. We score a two, another two, and uh, that's how the personal study guide is working at the moment.